Hey guys, welcome back. Well, check that out. That bushing came apart and just started beating that bore up. But, it's not completely destroyed. And at this point, it's fairly simple to fix, which is a good thing we caught it. This is a part of the 374 rebuild that we're kind of doing on all these parts. This side's good. So we're gonna get these bushings out, heat them up, air hammer them out, and then uh, let that cool off, and then we'll get started on it. Just wanted to do a quick intro video so you can see what it looks like before we, before we mess with it. All right, so this bushing is obviously being a pain in the butt. Made a little slit in it with a torch. Now let's see if uh, she'll come out a little nicer. Yay! We got it. Look at it, it closed all the way on the torch cut. That's how much it closed. All right, now you can see what we got going on here a little better. You can see this bushing that uh, broken. There was a bunch of uh, burrs on there, so we couldn't get it out the traditional way, so we ended up just slicing it with a torch, and that relieved it enough so that it would uh, bypass those. Okay, now we're gonna get set up on it, do our clean cut.
clean cuts done. We got the bore welder set up, zeroed in. We're gonna weld it out. Should only need one pass. It's because we did a real light cut there. So let's get to welding. All right, I decided to do one more pass just because there was a couple low spots that I know are going to uh, be exposed when we do our uh, final cut. So one more pass should cover those up. And, uh, yeah, we're going to call it a day, cut it, cut it out in the morning. All right. All right, so I did uh, my initial first pass, knock all the high stuff down. It's not really worth filming that because it doesn't really show anything. So now we're gonna start taking a little bit deeper of a cut. Do a time lapse on that one. Okay, I did a little bit of welding by hand on the edges here just to build it up so that when we cut it all back, it'll be a nice and square edge. There's something going on with this material. It's, it's really hard and you can tell by the color of those chips. Those chips are hot, but my carbide inserts are handling it just fine. Um, and just the way that it's squeaking and, and the noises that it's making, uh, you could tell it's really hard. It, it's almost like it's cast, but there's no way that's cast. They have welds on here. So I, I'm not really sure what um, is going on with that, but it was welding kind of funny, and now it's cutting, cutting like it's really, really hard. We get so I'm what I'm just saying is I'm cutting um, a lot shallower a cut. So we have five thousandths to go to finish that hole. And then this hole, we're gonna do two passes to finish this one out. I was gonna face this, but I think I'm just going to um, fill in the high spots and then just use the grinder and blend it in by hand because it's really not out of measurement. It's just kind of scratched.
All right, we're on the final pass on this side. And once that's done, we'll double check the measurement. We'll break it all down and clean our faces up with the grinder. Press the bushings in. Okay, got that cleaned up. I used the uh, Milwaukee die grinder with a two inch buffer wheel. I'm not exactly sure what those are called. Just kind of go around, handle the high spots and it, and it makes that really, really smooth. Did the same thing there. I had a little bit of chatter and it just, cleans that right up. Now we're going to just put a small chamfer on there. Let's see if I can remember where, there it is, where the tool is. This little guy, I think this is in my Amazon storefront. It's from Amazon. It's a little carbide tip deal. You just kind of keep that face flat. Just work your way around, boom, puts a chamfer on it. to see but I don't want a really big chamfer because that grease seal sits right there but it's just enough it breaks that sharp edge perfect all right I'll do that to the other side and then we'll press the bushings in
Well, those went in there pretty smoothly. So the stuff you saw me, red stuff you saw me putting on there is a bearing retaining compound. Several different companies make it. That particular one is from the Loctite brand. But they, uh, I guess it helps bond metal to metal once it's in there. It's very similar to thread locker. Just, I guess, more made for a bearing retaining. So that's uh, that's what I was putting on there. I did put the bearings in the freezer. I don't think it make, make that big of a deal of them being 30 degrees. And then I did preheat this up maybe to about 150 just to just to help a little bit seem to work pretty smoothly all right all right well we got it done face is a little bit ugly but it's perfectly fine for the application blue air through the grease holes same thing I don't want to put grease in there because they got to travel a little ways I don't want to get dirty on the road just like the 340 or the 374 stick so um, yeah there you go just simple pretty simple straightforward line boring job all right guys well thank you for watching stay tuned for the next one